What is good guys, back with more SPL, we have Zomok playing for the Titans versus P2 playing for the Tigers, looking at the teams real quick, we see a Mega Pincer squad on Zomok's side, no flying resist on the other side, uh, Magnezone is most likely choice Scarf to help versus opposing Pincer and versus Katana, then either the Lari or the Lando could also be Scarf as well, because Zone is so slow that you want more speed control, and then Lari or Lando, the one of the two that is not the Scarf, could be Z-move, uh, Bulu is probably AV and the Pex is like mixed defensive more, so Spadef is my guess, on P2's side uh, I would say it's AV, Mug, uh, Mega Scissor with U-turn to get in the Gren and the Lele, then Z-move Komo-O most likely mixed with CC and the drag move that gives it like the boost and all stats, then the Scarfer is either the Lando or the L Lele. I'm thinking more so the Lando is probably the Scarfer, and then the Lele could be like Twisted Spoon. And the Greninja is like some breaking variant. Uh, P2's leads here is either um, his Scarfer, which is most likely Lando, or Greninja. I think those are his only leads. If Lele is Scarfer, he can also lead that. Uh, other than that, if he leads Como, -O, Scissor, or Muck, all three lead off bad versus Pinsir and let Pinsir click frustration and pretty much he has no resist so he, Pinsir will just get a kill if he leads wrong. So I think he's forced to lead with either his Scarf or always Greninja. So yeah, he leads with Greninja versus Pinsir. Uh, Zomok should uh, switch into his Toxic packs to scout whether this Greninja is Protein or Battle Bond. P2 has a few options. He could go for spikes, he could go for coverage move that hits packs if he has that. If he has none of those moves, he could also double and top with Lele, because uh, it's so obvious that Pax is gonna come out here, that's Zomok's only and best play in my opinion. He doesn't know if the Greninja is Battlebond or Protein yet, if it's Battlebond, uh, Spex Pump is a roll to Oko Pinsir, if it's Protein, Ice Beam would also probably destroy the Pinsir. And if he goes in the Bulu, he would obviously risk this being uh, Gunk Shot Greninja, so Pax is overall the best play. Yep, that's all I wanted to say. So there is the Pex. There's the Essence. Oof, so it's Protein. There's a good chunk. It's not Life Orb though, so this could be Expert Belt Greninja, because the theme of I'm pretty sure is on Como. Uh, eject Button Pex, so now he gets a free switch into either his Scarfa or his Bulu. Um, so he could go Lari to scare this out with the Draco. And then P2 would go into either the Lele or the Muck, so he could go on a Lari and then double to and like land or something like that, that would be a potential play. Or he could go on a Bulu and then pivot back into Magnezone or Toxapex to scout for a gunk shot. Those are pretty much Zomok's options. But yeah, this Greninja being Protein is a huge issue for Zomok. It already showed extra sentry for the packs. And then if it has Ice Beam um, for Pinsir, Bulu and Lari and land, it was like it pretty much hit his entire team for super effective damage. And it might also have low kick or HP fire to hit the Magnezone. And uh, the last move could be Spikes, Pump, we will have to see. Yeah, I didn't collect this, I'm just guessing that it's ex uh, Expert Build, yeah. So you type Bulu, so now um, should switch into Zone or Pex to scout for Gunk Shot. If P2 doesn't have Gunk Shot, then he's gonna switch out, obviously. Because he cannot uh, Oku Bulu. So he does go Mug, so yeah, Pex does scout for the Gunk Shot there, and also Pex covers the Mug. So now he just gonna Scald or Toxic here, let's see. Lily comes out on a Scald. Gets crit but not burned. Now Bulu is most likely gonna come out. Let's see if he Psy shocks or psychic. Psy shock because you wanna do more than psychic because it's AV Bulu. Now you can either just madness or you can double into Landris because um, the Muck is gonna come out here most likely. He's not gonna go Scissor because he kinda has to fear that Magnezone in the back. Um, now P2 is gonna switch here into either Scissor or Landris, right? Also, this is a game where. Like I already said, a Pinsir has no flying resist, so Magnezone doesn't even have to trap the Steel type for Pinsir in this game. Like there's some games where the opponent has a Scam or a Steeler, and Magnezone has to trap um, the Steel for Pinsir. But in this game, Pinsir just clicks its stab um, whenever it gets an opportunity to come out. Now this is actually an opportunity to go on a Pinsir um, because P2 is either gonna go for his own rocks or he's gonna go for Hidden Power Ice most likely. Uh, he, yeah, he could also U-turn, but I don't think he's gonna do that. Yeah, like the plays here are either going into Pinsir or going into um, Tapu Bulu, but Pinsir puts more offensive pressure on P2's team, so I assume that's the, yeah, that's the better play for sure. And I don't think this is, um, I don't think this is, um, Z-move land, or, like, if he's Z-move, then he would, like, have risk the land going for Skystroke here, but I would think that this land is Scarf, Rocks, and the Scissor is the default on P2's side. Um, obviously, I, I'm not sure about the Lilith side shock damage on the, on the Bulu, I should, I would have to calc if that's um, scarf damage or if it's um, twisted spoon damage. I'm kind of guessing it's potentially it's not a damage boosting item on Lele as well. But yeah, he gets the play correct. He gets his pincer in on the rocks. Now he just gets to click um, frustration as P2 decides to throw his scissor out. It's definitely gonna get 2 hit KO'd. 
Yes, return instead of frustration. Now you can just click it again. I don't really see a reason to go into Magnet Zone. Um, P2 might go for Bullet Punch here to get some chip on the pincer, but that's fine. Now, um, yeah, Res return is just gonna kill this. And then afterwards, P2 is most likely gonna go Greninja. And Greninja is just a huge problem for Zomok, especially with Rocks Up. Because like the one one that outspeeds the Greninja is most likely the Lari. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point that the Lari is the Scarf and the Lando is probably the Zemo user. I'm also kind of um, comparing this to a team that my Ultra Balls made, which had like a, I think the same six months. Um, I actually have to man ask my Ultra Balls later if this is the team that he made that Zomok is using. So I return picks up the kill. Now Greninja is most likely going to come out to threaten this out with either Ice Beam or HP Fire. We don't know what it has. A Greninja doesn't even have to predict because like it just clicks the move here and Pinsa is going to get scared out and he has to go into either Pex or Bulu. I think he has to go Pex here actually, yeah. Yeah, he can just click Ice Beam or HP Fire, whatever he has, one after two. Like Pinsa is still nice to have obviously, right? Especially if we can get over Defog later. I assume Pax is gonna come out. B2 is just gonna click a move that hits Pinsa for super effective damage. I don't see a reason to predict for him. Um, even if Zomok pivots from Pax into Ladi, um, let's say he goes uh, Pax on an Ice Beam and Ladi on E Sense, that's fine because he still takes rocks and chip damage. Right, so that's completely fine. And I think as long as he's out of quick attack range with his Greninja, he's completely fine. So there's an Ice Beam, there's a Freeze Crit. Oof. Now, B2 is probably going to E-Sense here. Because he does pivot in the Lottie there. Expecting the E-Sense. Uh -huh. Now, he scares us out with a Draco. He could do a few things. He could um, defog or he could... Um, like, B2 is either going to go into Muck or into Lily. If he expects the... One of those two months, and if he's convinced that Lily is not Scarf, he could also double into Pinsir, but he would have to take rocks, so he doesn't want that. So I think he's probably just gonna defog. Uh, P2 obviously doesn't want to stay in here. Greninja puts in work whenever it comes in on Pax, Pinsir, or Zone. Uh, Scarf Thorn is slower than Greninja, I'm pretty sure. So there's the Lily on a defog. Now either Magnezone or Bulu has to come out here. Doubles into Greninja, oof, oof, P2 is too fire right now. Now, if he has low kick or HP fire, he can go for that, but that doesn't Oko from full, so I assume he's just gonna switch. He goes in the Landris there, scouting for like, T-Bolt Volt switch, and even Flash can, yeah, like, Landris covered everything. Like, it would've eaten anyone hit from the zone if Landris scarfed, then it outspeeds the zone after and threatens it out. And the Aladi um, cannot Oko the Landris, no matter if the Lando is defensive or offensive. I think Draco cannot Oko it. P2 could hard muck or Lele, or he could U-turn, because if he U-turns, he doesn't necessarily need health on his Landris, and if he U-turns, he also gets momentum if mob, not mob, if Zomok switches. I just call him mob because of his ult, nobody bought mob. Yeah, nobody bought mob Bali in mid-season. Um, which I'm also a little bit surprised by, not super surprised, but a little bit. Yeah, like Draco should do between 70 and 90 percent, depending on the land of set and depending on the role. From uh, this is most likely Scarf Lady and Z move on Lando. So there's a Draco. I assume we just see a U turn from P2. Gets a crit. I don't know if that mattered. I don't think it did if he smacks attack Landris. Now he can just go into Greninja because Zomok has like nothing for Greninja after the Scarf Lady went down. Like, how is he gonna beat this? Like, Magnuson is slower, um, Pinsir is slower. Everything, everything is slower than this. And yeah, he has some mons that can take a hit, but those mons cannot Oko the Greninja back, right? The, yeah, the only one that could Oko the Greninja is like the Pinsir, but the Pinsir would obviously die the Ice Beam. Um, I think you have to go on Tabu Bulu here, right? Because Tabu Bulu can uh, threaten this out. But, um, like Horn Leech or Woodhammer. Mm -hmm. And he most likely doesn't have Gunk Shot because he switched out earlier on the Bulu. And Bulu can obviously eat up an Ice Beam because it's a Salt Vest. So P2 should switch out here. I'm expecting either the Muck or the Coma or the Come Out. Um. Yeah, he revealed Essence and Ice Beam so far. 
I'm just expecting a Horn Leech on Nature's Madness. I would probably Nature's Madness here because Pito's Greninja is so good in this game, he should never stay in, right? Um, a potential double that he could make would be into Pinsir. Yeah, double into Pinsir is also a good play. So yeah, either Nature's Madness or double into Pinsir are the options here. Horn Leech is also an option if you fear the Greninja staying in. But Greninja is definitely not going to stay in here for sure because it's way too valuable for P2. He should preserve the Greninja. But Zomot might have to hope for the Greninja staying in because he just doesn't have much for it. So he just Horn Leeches, there is the Como. Ore. Now, obviously he's fearing a potential f um, Poison Jab here, right? So he might go in a Toxapex. Because Poison Jab would Oko the Bulu, and if the Bulu dies, then the Greninja would pretty much just win, so he cannot afford to stay in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So if P2 wants to predict, let's see if P2 wants to predict the Toxapex here, or if he just wants to play it safe. But I, I don't see Zomok staying in here at all, because like I said, if he loses his Bulu, he just uh, loses to Greninja. If he goes for a Z move, what is it? Klangru Soul Blade? Oof, he goes for a Z Dragon move on the Bulu, knowing that he's most likely not going to stay in, because then he loses to Gren. Hot. So now um, he's gonna go for clanging scales here. I don't know if that's even gonna kill though, because this mon is pretty weak. Trust me, I've like tried out Como. <laughs> so he has Clangaroo Soul Blade, Close Combat. I think he has Poison Jab and could have. What else would he have? Flamethrower or something like that? I think so. Mm -hmm. So you can just click the, the Dragon Step here. And the packs being frozen sucks because he cannot go for haste. He has to go for scald here to thaw out. Um, otherwise, he's just yeah he has to scald, which is like really bad for Zomo because he cannot get rid of the speed boost. At least he gets a burn now. P2 could just click a coverage move here. If he's more so physical, then that burn actually is annoying for him. But he also got the freeze on packs, which forced the packs to go for scald. So he goes in the bulu there. Flamethrower was free there because it would have killed the packs, but. Um, if he doesn't have P-Jab, then the Bulu can actually live a hit and go for Nature's Madness here. But Bulu can also not kill this. Uh, Bulu doesn't get play rough. I kind of want Bulu to get play rough, even though Bulu already kind of has 4 move slot syndrome. And Bulu is like already good as it is. You don't necessarily need play rough, but it would be interesting to see how Bulu would be if it had play rough. So there's the Poison Jab. Just get rid of the Bulu. Now, I assume he has to go... Pinsir? Goes Lander, okay. So, what does he go for? Z move Sky Strike? <laughs> Poison Jam. Yeah, I recorded with Zomok once, and one guy had a Medicham, and like this, and Zomok like, kept saying Poison Jam, and I said, like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's called Poison Jam, not Poison Jam. And I think he was like trolling me, it was super funny. Uh, I will also link the video in the description if I don't forget. He goes for Continental Crush, he doesn't have Sky Strike. Como eats that up. Um, even with the defense drop, I think Earthquake might have done a bit more, but I'm not sure. And now Pinsir can pick up the kill here with Quick Attack, but um, at this point Protein Greninja just should should just win for P2. But yeah, it was interesting to see Como -O actually put in some work. <laughs> you don't see that every day that a Como was used in SPL, and then that it also puts in some work. I don't remember seeing a Como -O this SPL. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> That's fire. Like, P2's team is, like, so wild. Like, when I saw this at first, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, in my mind, like, I didn't say what the fuck, but in my mind, I'm like, what is this team, dude? Like, hello? <laughs> okay, so that's the, um, the Pinsir is just gonna quick attack. Now P2 can just go Greninja and click Ice Beam. Um, pretty much no reason to predict at this point, because even if Pex comes out, um, you can just click Ice Beam, and then next turn you can click Extra Sensory. So there's the Ice Beam. Now you can just click extra sentry, and even if you pivot into magnet zone, yeah, there's the extra sentry picking up the kill. Even if you pivot into magnet zone, if he has low kick or HP fire, then he could pick up the magnet zone next turn. And magnet zone is probably scarf and also can't all go to Greninja, right? Also, if he's um, scarf Landris, that would probably win at this point if it has. HP eyes to hit the pincer. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even need a rock move because I think the pincer is uh, pretty low. If I'm not mistaken here. Like I don't remember the exact health it's at, but I'm, I know it already took damage. So I'm expecting uh, P2 to go for. Like he doesn't have to go for coverage move. He can switch out and like try to chip the Magnus on first. But I think he can. Um, if he has low kick or HP fire, he can go for that for sure here. But yeah, he does go and hard on the Landris. 
There's the volt switch. Okay, okay, dude, calm down. Now, if he's HP Icelander, he should click that, I think, because the Magnezon is most likely locked in the volt switch. And Oh, the pincer is healthier than I remember. Never mind. Pincer is healthier. My bad. I thought it was at like 20%. But yeah, now you can just click Ice Beam. And if Magnezone comes out, he gets the chip damage that he wants on the Magnezone to bring it in range from his coverage move that he most likely has. I'm pretty sure he has either low kick or HP fire. He just didn't go for it yet. So he goes for Ice Beam. There's 20... That does so much! Magnezone is so bad! What the... How is that resisted? Hello? So there's the Hidden Power. Fire and Bob. Yeah, he should. He could have clicked Hidden Power Fire versus Pinsir as well because I'm pretty sure it would have killed from 54. I should have fired the pincer exactly, is what I'm trying to say. Now, um, quick attack trying to hope for crit. Even crit wouldn't have killed. HP fire for the kill. And thank you guys for watching. P2 picking up the win with a hot team. And the Tigers are up versus the Tyrants. Um, yeah, like I said, I will link the blunder again that I recorded earlier in the description. And that narration I did with Zomok also from SPL, I think that was last year. Pretty sure my narration skill wasn't that great at that point. I think my narration's definitely improved. But yeah, let me pause it real quick. Okay, so you guys can see here that Tigers are up two overs, the Tyrants and Eternal beat Blunder, P2 beat Zomok now. And yeah, stay tuned for more SPL coverage. And I'm out. Bop. Damn, that was a fun game. <laughs> That's like cool, like we haven't like seen stall or anything yet this week. That's pretty nice. Just some fresh games. Nice combo putting that work. The data guy is definitely getting something. Oof.